Hi comrades, viewers KVS. I am attempting various methods that clearing your doubts, know your doubts and also weekly doubts, everything. Today I want to introduce a new one about the contact and disciplinary rules. In fact, I have compiled around 2000 tidbits on contact and discipline. I want to release one by one so that you can also very well very much understand about the contact and service rules and also the CCS CCS rules in short form in the form of question and answers. So today I am beginning with this episode. What is the topic today I am going to take is about the time limit prescribed by the postal department for processing the representations of the officials. The DG post that is earlier PNT in its order dated 23rd July 1975 has prescribed the time limit for processing the representations submitted by the officials. As per that order, the staff cases should be dealt, action must be taken within a week. Decision may be taken within a fortnight. At, at any rate, the decision must be taken within a month. This is as per DGPNT number 201, oblique 40, oblique 75, disc dated 23rd July 1975. Accordingly, whatever be the representation submitted by the official, action should be initiated within a week. A decision has to be taken within a fortnight, that is two weeks. And at any rate, decision must be taken within a month. This is as per the PNT department instructions. What is the time limit prescribed by the DOPT so far the disposal of the representation? So far, the DOPT in its OM 2012-1968 and also 111-1999, it has prescribed the time limit of one month. Whatever be the representation of the official, that should be disposed within one month. In case, whether it is an appeal or petition, which cannot be disposed of within a month of its submission, an acknowledgement or at least the interim reply should be sent to the concerned individual within a month. This is as per the DOPT orders. Suppose your representation requires two department consultation. Under these circumstances, what is the time limit prescribed? The time limit prescribed for the interdepartmental consultation that should be disposed within six months maximum. Representation requiring interdepartmental consultation should be disposed within three months. Final reply should be self-contained, covering all the points raised by the employee. And in case if it is rejected, the ground for rejection should also be clearly given. This is as per the DOPNT OM number 28034, oblique 6, oblique 2002. ESTTA dated 11-1-2002. This is as per the existing provision. So, within the department, the postal department has prescribed 30 days and similarly, the DOPT has also prescribed within 30 days. Inter-departmental consultation, it should be made in 3 months or at the maximum, it should be disposed within 6 months. This is as per the existing ruling provision. Suppose if your representation is delayed more than this, you are having the right to represent against the delay in disposal of your representation to the next authority. Hope you will understand. Likewise, this is the first episode on tidbits of conduct and discipline. In the first episode, I have taken the subject of time limit prescribed for disposal of the representation. In the subsequent episodes, other subjects will be dealt one by one. I hope you will enjoy with these new episodes. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much, comrade. Meet again.